Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. I can see lots of uh, tiles. I'd love to see your... Hey, there you are, David. Hi. Hello. hello. How are you? We're fine, thank you. Hi. Give me a wave. Hi, everyone. Hello. I see you. Good woman. Hi, Janice. Perry. Hey, long time no see. How are you? Not too bad. How are you doing? Last time yeah, I saw you, I was like maybe you. up to your waist. <laughs> it's all good, isn't it? We're here. We can almost hug Sandy. How are you? I'm fine, Sarah. How are you? Yeah, lovely to see you. Oh, Steve well. and uh, Sean. Perfect. Those of you who know me will maybe know my story. I, um, like some Huntington's family, I knew nothing about Huntington's growing up. And then my mum started to change and, and get poorly when I was in my teens and when I was about 20 I heard the word Huntington's for the first time. Well, I knew I was at risk but I didn't know that I would find a community and a friendship that I have so that's kind of my story. I went pretty quickly from mum being diagnosed to try and find my own diagnosis. I'm one of four and I've always wanted to be on the front foot. I move quickly. I sometimes talk quickly. Tell me to go slower if you need me to. Um, and I just wanted to know. I wanted to know for me, knowledge was power. And about six months after that diagnosis, um, I got the news that I too am positive. I have the gene. Um, and over the years, my brothers and sister have all been tested. And as a family, we've been incredibly lucky. We have three good news in mind. So three out of four, we, we've beaten the odds. Me and my sister, who's only, there's only a year or so between us, we um, both found out at the same time. And then we were very heavily uh, involved with everything that came with the youth um, service, like the, the camps and the days out and, and everything else. Um, out of the five of us, well, only three of us are of age to get tested. I'm the only one that has. So I was in um, June 2019 that I found out I've got Huntington. It got, it got it. So I certainly went to testing wanting to hear good news. I didn't want to hear I was positive. No. I wanted like you, but I was prepared. I was prepared to hear the bad news because that's what they, they do to support you. And I guess that's the gift we have with the genetic testing now. <laughs> you, you can find that and you can get clarity and certainty. I got tested and I was positive. So that was four years ago, but it was obviously I'm going to be the same CAG count as my mum. So my mum was 50 when she started showing her symptoms and I just turned 50. So this is my sort of year that everything, <laughs> everything that happened, everything that was sort of just a wee bit intent to hooks. But I'm um, Mm. positive and at the moment I don't have any symptoms I'm keeping myself fit and healthy and as positive as I can be and just hope that yeah. when symptoms do come or there's going to be a breakthrough because I'm sure there's going to be breakthroughs it's going to happen soon <laughs> <laughs> definitely going to happen soon my wife Sandy has HD she's been symptomatic for 20 years um, I retired five years ago to become her full-time care. Her mum had it, her grandmother had it, and we've done a bit of um, plotting of her family history. And I think I've got back about four generations now where the suspicion in the family was that HD was there. And it's funny, you talk about looking at your um, your family or go searching it back. And when we look back and I see photos of my granddad and it's a bit like Sandy saying, you can see a still and you're like, that person had hunting yeah. you just can can see that the way they they hold themselves and yep. you, you know that's um you know that look. i started getting my first tattoo and i was trying to think what's something that would really inspire me like what's something that i'd really want and i was like i can think of one badass that really inspired me when i was young so do you want to guess what tattoo i have on my right foot no, go on. <laughs> Your Olympian tattoo that you showed me when I was 13. Yes, I love it. I actually oh. have that on my foot and I did because one of the things that remind me, I used to have a picture of your foot with a tattoo on my metal board when I was a kid. And there I remember- Hang on, I haven't got my camera on. Go on, where's your foot? Do it. <laughs> I've got yeah. the Olympic rings, the lion and some footsteps to enjoy. I love it. 
the wow. eyes, the lion, and the footsteps, and the rings. Yeah, I, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the exact same one. And the funny thing about this is so many people have seen that, and they're like, why do you have an English Olympian statue on your foot? I was like, man, you would not even believe this story if I told you. What a privilege to spend time hearing stories and, and just reconnecting a little bit with everyone. So thank you. Um, I don't know how we do this in Zoom, but I want a hug. So hi there, so how? Yes, Sandy's got it. <laughs> yes, lots of love. And please, thank you so much for Look after yourselves first and foremost, um, so we can look after each other. Thank you all. all right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.